So this would be a good atlas or atlas. What you can expect from expect from atlas? So you see, you have different points and you have different. What do you call these? Sir, X number pass naps the na. Patches. Yes. We are saying X belongs to. Then is X is not M sorry. P belongs to. Ah, P is there. X is a map. You are right. X is a map. Okay. So I have lots and lots of patches. Okay. Yeah. So this would be a complete description of this whole manifold. So therefore, I'm calling it an atlas. So atlas. So you can also treat that as a real world atlas, actually. Okay. What do you what do you usually call that? You know, something that so it's like a complete map. Okay. So if this is really an atlas, then the collection of all these okay, I call it for example x alpha and u alpha. And maybe alpha is from i, and i could be uncountable as well. It's not necessarily. Then the union of all u alpha this should give you what? M. So that's, the, that's the only constraint that it must satisfy. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. They can have many things in common. Is it making sense? So just an intuitive picture. We're going to do it rigorously. Uh, you know, after the exams, and I think we should end here, and we can. Is this clock okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> because from my previous experience, <laughs> I've been misled by the clocks. <laughs> okay. Actually, one of our rules. No, but you still have. Ah, so it's not the first class, the second class. I'm forgetting it. So you still have more minutes, actually. Yeah. Still have one. So I'm just, I just want to give you an intuitive picture, not something which is. Okay. It's still, sir, manifold is not clear, sir. Why not? Uh, we have a space, we have uh, in some sense tau, a cover of it, and we define a topological map. What is tau? Tau is. Tau is a topology only. In, in, okay, sir, it's a topology. Uh -huh. Now we, we define x on this space. Uh -huh. uh, but what is uh, this n-dimensional? You missed the first code. part. That's what is one of the problems. I talked about it. So, so you came in between. <laughs> Watch this again. <laughs> anyway, okay, so what, what essentially we are saying that, so usually we say that manifold is something in which you take a point. So manifold is an abstract space. How does it look like? We have no idea. Okay. okay? How to do geometry? We have no idea there. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a point from there and small patch that contains that point, and we're going to bring that patch into the real world and do things here and you know what do you call return back and have uh, in other words the make predictions about it. So usually how we define manifolds? We say that manifold is something in which every point has a neighborhood which is open set that is homeomorphic to an open subset of R n. So that's precisely what I have written here. That manifold is something which locally looks like a Euclidean space. So you, you see this is a fair. So I, if I see locally, okay. So when I'm seeing here, I see it's flat. Okay. So it's a pretty natural, what do you call, um, definition. What could be, okay, the, the other example. So maybe first. Mm -hmm. yes, I said again. I said it. I said it, and I'm, let me say it again. Okay. So if you want to find, okay, what would be the open set of on Taurus, you need to first recall some space topology. Okay, one thing. So if you want to find an open set with torus, what you have to do, since that point is also in R3, so take an open set in R3, which is going to be sphere, small sphere. And I'm saying that the intersection of that sphere with this point will produce a region here. 
Okay? I don't know how does it look like. And that region is open cycle. Okay? So that region is open cycle. Okay? Um, let's take for example another example. Another example. Yes, sir. So it's not going to, it's not inside, so they are not intersecting it. Okay? okay? So you can, you can call it like that. Um, In one minute. So, so, so this K is going to be, so how many, how many, try to have a guess, how many things you need to describe things here actually? One, sir. It could be one dimension, so you, since you can go back and forth actually, and nothing else. So, so if I take a point from here, okay, I can take a point from here, okay. But by the way, where does this is living? So this would be subset of R two, R two, R two, R two. R two. So it would be subset of R two actually. I can, I can see this as a subset of R three, but you can also three B or something. Three B can affect is not going to make any difference. In R two, painters is not possible in R three. If it is to form the going backward, but R2 is going to force it to intersect. Okay. So, so again, okay, you know what would be the open set that containing P here? So, so it's like how does the open set? So, so imagine you can you, you can imagine that that's a small piece of a string sitting on the top of a sphere actually. So, so this is going to be kind of what do you call okay. your U. U. Okay? And what can I do? I can send it into R. Okay? And the image of U is going to be an open interval here. Okay? The image of U is going to be an open interval. By the way, what would be the topology on this? The topology will be inherited from R3, the standard topology. If this is an R3, then the topology will be inherited by R3. Um, okay. This would be, this would be so what manifold should I call it? One. 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 So it's going to be one dimensional manifold. So it's going to be one manifold. Okay. One manifold. How about this one? Think about it. So if I have something like this. So string like this. Uh, I don't need to go in three dimension. I can treat this as a subset in R2. Okay? Is this a manifold? So, so we are happy about this point and 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 this point. I can map them on you know, R. Not a big deal. What do you think? What is going to be the controversial part? Boundary intersection. This is going to be uh, the controversial uh, part actually. Yes, sir. Okay. And what problem you gonna have with this open part? Open set class. How does the open set gonna look like? Okay. Maybe you gonna say the open set is something like okay, this and this and maybe something like this. Okay. This kind of thing. So, so it's like this. The open set is a splitting actually. Get it? But what would be what would be the key critique actually that you're going to have here? Why should I say that? You know what property would be missing here? What property would be missing? Why continuity is a trouble here? So there is no subset of, there is no element in topology that contains the string. There is no element? Yes sir. The point that is on the center. Why not? Maybe sir. 
I just guess. Why <laughs> not? Maybe. By the way, I would, I, would, I, would, I would say that think about defining charts here actually. You're gonna have you're gonna face difficulty if you want to define the map map accent. You think about that, what difficulty you're going to have. <laughs> define uh, Okay, so I've already read what is chart and Sir, if there are many, if, if any The problem is a split Pyramids How does the problem reflect upon? Pyramids are increasing okay, How does the problem you know, reflect upon it? That, that, since you are having you know, these two paths going through this one point why that's a troublemaking thing? You know, which of the three is going to be basically? It's going to be done. It's going to be Let's 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 do a concrete example. For example, of this chart. Let's, let's think about it. Think about the concrete example. Or shall we? Start from next. Yes, next. So then, I want what I want what that you know before coming here, try to read out the basic stuff actually, and read out you know the way he defines what you call.